Hey, what's going on, you shotguns, and welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're playing Dead by Daylight again, but today we're going to be showing you guys how to 360, and I got my fellow friend Danny Will here. Say hello. Um, I'm not sure about the friend part. You've literally just told me on the epic Skype to get on right now, so, you know. Shh, you're my friend. It's just, we don't need to talk about it. Don't, don't listen to him. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be showing you how to 360. He's going to be playing the killer. I'm going to be playing the survivor, so you guys can see on the bottom right how my controller moves the way when I like try to 360. So you'll see my left stick and my right stick move in a certain way. So just pay attention to that whenever I 360. And you're going to be seeing that my left trigger is lit up. That is because I am currently holding it. That is my sprint. I like change my controls. So for you, it should be left bumper unless you change your controls. So just hold your sprint, pay attention to the analog sticks, and then you should learn how to 360. And also, I'll be running how to do it through keyboard and mouse. But I don't have a display for that. So just pay attention to that and like the way I word it. Sorry if it's a little bit confusing. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in there. Peace. All right, Uncle. Alright folks, in order 360, first you need some distance between you and the killer, and as soon as they're catching up... Alright, start chasing me, Danny. Basically, <laughs> you want to move your left stick to the right, and then just yeah. bam. Just do a clockwise Dang. rotation with your right stick. Oh and... my god. <laughs> oh! Hey, that time it didn't work, fuck! <laughs> See, this this trick doesn't always work, but basically all you have to do is move your left stick to the left, to like juke him out, take a direction, and then move it to the right, and then just... Keep your right stick to the left, so you're just doing this rotation, and then just move it like that. So you have to make sure you're moving straight at the moment. So you guys can see uh, at the bottom right of my controller, ouch, you bastard. I literally hold fucking W, you fucking idiot. But... Alright folks, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do my signature killer shack loop, which, honestly, this one... It's one. It's probably one of the best. It's easier to do because it's a mix between the 360 and like faking, like going one direction. So obviously you have the God Palette right here, and what you want to do is run around the killer, and then as soon as they catch up to this door right here, you want to pretend like you're going in, and then just do the 360. So they just swing in and there. And honestly, you can do this for quite some time because if it's a baby killer and you're new to Dead by Daylight, you can even do it during the window because they're that dumb. As my friend has Damn, oh my god, he fooled me. Ah. Alright, we're gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna show you the best thing. Oh. Alright, so when you're mid 360 and you know you're about to get hit, this is the best thing to do. Hit him with a pallet, flashlight, oh them, my and god, if you don't put your light, you just go like that. And they can't see you. And then oh you my just god, have them to where did he go? Oh my god. I don't know why he wing him. Oh, baby! Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Alright. But another trick you guys can do is there's always that god, the, the fucking A, Killer Shack loop. And then there's this one. These are the best loops in the Cold Wind Farm. But something I like to do to be extra toxic is I like to flash them, by the way. As soon as they break the pallet, I make them smile once again for the camera. And I just keep doing it over and over again. So if you want to be a toxic bitch, you guys can keep doing that. Because you can just blind them forever. Until they catch on if they're a smart killer. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the remote 360. You just move your left stick to the left and then just clockwise rotation while keeping your right stick to the left. But also, you also want to make sure there's like a decent amount of distance between you and the killer because if not, they'll swing but they can also hit you. Also, if you wanted to be able to do this on PC, I will be teaching that. Just all you have to do is press WDSA and then move your mouse to the left, and that's all there is to that. I can't really find a controller or a mouse display, keyboard and mouse, but that's basically all there is to it. And it does take time because it's all about the timing of it, because it took me quite some time to learn it, because, watch, if you do it like too, like, too early or too late, you get swung down by that. So other than that, that's all there is to it, but, and there's my friend doing a Cringy Mori. Okay, yay. So I hope you guys enjoyed me and um, me getting murked. But yeah, all you guys have to do is pay attention to what I was doing at the bottom right of the screen. It shows you what the movements are in my controller. So you can do this with Xbox, PS4, and for PC, just WDSA and move your mouse to the left. But you always want to make sure there's a decent amount of distance between you and the killer. Other than that, that's all you have to do to Mori. Or fucking A360, I can't speak English. Hope you guys enjoyed. Well done. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.